Pussy time's on the rise. Ready should be twice as high. Take a look. I'm even writing a book. It's Quincy time, bro. I do what I want. QuincyTime.co. Learn ways to grow. It's Quincy time, bro. I can win anything. Take a look. It's on my show. Quincy time, bro. Quincy time, bro. Welcome. I'm Quincy DeGrasse Tyson Ameriqua, and I want to welcome you to the planetarium. Join us on a journey of deep cosmic wonder and mystic extravagance. I'll be your host on today's journey amongst the stars where we will discover aliens Serpents, magical, mystical wonder, only few have ever discovered. Welcome. Now here to accompany me on this vast journey is cosmetologist and scholar of sorts, Lucy Ann. It's actually, I work here, I'm Lucianne Walkowicz and I'm an astronomer here at the Adler Planetarium, not a cosmetologist. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> cosmetologist. Ah, a physical representation of one trillion BC, of the intergalactic battle between the earliest aliens and Zeus himself. A battle waged on from the beginning of time and created the stars and planets as we know them today. Whoa. Wait, 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 no. Quincy, this is our cosmology hall. I mean, this is a representation of the Big Bang, which surely was a violent event, but that's not what this is. There are no aliens. There's no cosmic war. This yes, is yes. how the makeup of the universe yes, got to yes, be. Yes, yes, yes. No more cosmic war, as we've won that battle. As you can see here. Oh, God. Quite beautiful, isn't it? Come on. Follow me on the next journey that awaits us. Here we are, fully strapped in the exoskeleton simulator. Most people do not know this, but the average alien can jump 16 feet in the air. Let's see if I can recreate such amazing feats of strength and dexterity. No, 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 Quincy, this is not the alien ex- what, what does that even mean? This is our lunar leap. This is so that you can experience how high the human, human astronauts would have been able to jump on the moon. The moon has less mass, and so its gravity is less, so they were able to bounce along. It's, it's not an alien exoskeleton exhibit. I, I just don't know where you're getting these ideas. Yes, 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 yes. What most people don't understand is Aliens actually don't jump up, but they force the Earth down, away from them. No. Let us recreate. Ah, wonder. Mystique. Yes, and behind me you'll see Earth 2.0, unlike our Earth. This earth is completely covered in water. There's no land at all. Well, wait a minute. That's North America. This is actually Earth. I mean, now we do know because of the Kepler mission that there are really commonly Earth-sized planets in the universe, but we don't know if any of them have oceans yet. But we're hoping to find out. We know. Ah, yes. This is the actual meteorite that destroyed the dinosaurs. Ah, yes, and this, this is an actual piece from Mars. Actually, it is. I'm Quincy Marikwa Sagan, and I'd like to thank my young Rhodes Scholar, Lucianne Walkowitz. I hope you learned a lot today. Yeah, this was just like going to grad school and getting a PhD in astronomy, which I already did. Yes, Thanks, as we Quincy. all have. 
here. So I hope you enjoyed our journey through the planetarium. Be sure to come on your own and explore on your own and see what lies amongst the stars. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Quincy Marquois here. I want to thank you for checking out the latest episode of Quincy Time. I'm sorry, what, what was that? Oh, oh, you like this Quincy Soros t-shirt? Oh, well it's funny you should say that. Because the Quincy Time shop is officially open, guys. Go ahead and check out everything we got going. We got the very talented Matthew Watson. He's my designer, full-time guy now. He's doing some awesome stuff. He's made some sweet t-shirts and hoodies and all that magical stuff. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and head on over to quincyamerico.com slash shop. We've got some other sweet stuff going on. We got quincytime.co. I'm making it its own standalone website as well now. Kind of see that over here. You can go check out all the old episodes of Quincy Time. we got them all set up and put together for you over there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's off season. I'm in California chilling, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying my house. Working real hard to bring you guys a bunch of other stuff. You guys got ideas, t-shirt ideas, things that you want made, things that you want to buy? Shoot me an email. Let me know. We'll put it together and we'll bring it to you. So that's all for me. Love you guys. Mean it.